In this data set, we have four independent pH measurements made in each of two rivers A and B. And this gives us two independent data samples. And we will use these samples to illustrate the use of Minitab to test for differences in variances, mean and median values. So to start with variances, we'll go to Stat, Basic Statistics, Two Variances. We first of all have to select how the samples are presented. In our data the samples are both in one column, which is the default settings, but we may have had the samples in their own column or actually summarised as sample variances. But choosing both samples in one column, the samples are in column C1 under pH, and the different samples are identified by the ID values given in column C2 the A and B values to define the rivers. Under options, we can choose the null hypothesis that the two variances have the same value, i.e. a ratio of one, and we can choose the test to be either a two-tailed test, in which case the alternative hypothesis is that the observed ratio is not the same as the hypothesized ratio, or we could select one-tailed tests, in which case the ratio is either less than one in this case, or greater than one. But we would just choose the two-tailed test. And if we click here, it gives us the option of performing the test based on the normal distribution, which will be the F test. Or if we leave it unchecked, it will give us Levine's test applying to any continuous distribution. So we will leave it unchecked for Levine's test and click OK to continue. And then we run OK. The results appear in the session window in which we can see here that the result of Levine's test is a p-value of 0.618 which suggests that there is no significant difference between the variances of these two samples. If we wish, we can return to STAT, Basic Statistics, and run the two-variance test again. But under Options, we will choose a test based on the normal distribution. And this time, we get the results of the F-test, which gives a p-value of 0.718. We can now apply a t-test for a difference in the mean values, so we go to STAT, Basic Statistics, Two Sample T-Test. Again, both samples are in one column. We select the pH for the response variable, and the sample IDs are given by the river values. Under Options, we can choose a difference for the null hypothesized difference, but we will typically leave it at zero. And again, we can choose either a two-tailed test or a one-tailed test in either direction, leaving it as a two-tailed test. We can also choose whether we wish to assume equal variances in the test. And we have found by the variance test that there is no reason to suspect that the variances are different. So we will select Equal Variances, and we will click OK, and run the analysis. We get the results of the two-sample t-test. Because we have assumed equal variance, the analysis will have calculated the best estimate of the variance of the two samples, so it produces a value for the pooled standard deviation. It calculates the t-value and then calculates the p-value for the two-tailed test of 0.052, which suggests that there is not enough evidence for a significant difference between the mean values of the two samples. If we were to repeat this t-test, but we did not assume equal variances, then it would perform Welsh's modified t-test, in which case it would not assume that the two variances are the same, so we do not get a pooled standard deviation. 
and in this case we will get the p-value of 0 0.60. In both cases there is not enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. We can also test for a difference in the median values between these samples and this will be stat, non-parametrics and this would be a Mann-Whitney test but we find here that the Mann-Whitney test expects to see the two samples in different columns. So we can cancel this for the moment and then we can just copy the two data sets into two separate columns, in this case C3 and C4, return to stats, non-parametrics, Mann-Whitney, and we can say the first sample is in C3, second sample in C4. Again, we can choose whether we want not equal to or less than or greater than, and then run the analysis. So the Mann-Whitney test tests for a difference in median values with the null hypothesis is that there is no difference between the median values and it gives us a p-value of 0 0.0606. Again suggesting that we should not reject the null hypothesis for a difference.